Today we're going to talk about a key driving strategy, and that is making the distinction between long rides and short rides. And stick around at the end of the video, I'm going to share with you the number one strategy I have so that you can get more long rides and really maximize the amount of money that you make. Hey everybody, this is Jay Crater. And since I started driving over two and a half years ago, and I'm going to show you this graphic here. I've got almost 21,000 rides under my belt. My focus has been getting as many rides as possible because I was able to use those rides, a lot of short rides, to get the bonuses. All the bonuses are based on how many rides you can get within a week. Then, earlier this year, actually in December of last year, I got deactivated by Uber. So I used to get a lot of uh, bonuses through Uber, but then I got deactivated for six weeks due to a technical glitch, and that changed everything about the way that I thought about driving. First thing I wanna talk about is, when is the best time to do short rides? So the main strategy is you wanna get short rides in, because with the short rides, you're gonna get closer to your bonus. So even right now, during a week in which I make $2,000, I'll make about 1,600 driving and then another 400 in terms of a bonus. So bonuses are very important. That's 20% of the amount of money that I make. So when do you wanna do the short rides? You wanna do the short rides when people are more inclined to do shared rides with Lyft and with Uber Pool, because then you can do a, a ride, but you may have two or three uh, passengers. So those count as two or three rides. So you wanna do those rides during rush hour. That's when you're gonna catch those people. And that's in the mornings, typically from about seven till 10, and then the afternoons from four till say about seven. All the rest of the time, this is the time you wanna do the long rides. Now the long rides are gonna really pay you much more in terms of the amount of money you can earn per hour. Um, I've done the math. When you're sitting in traffic, you're making about $10 per hour. When you're zooming down the freeway, you're making about $70 dollars per hour so it's a significant difference so when you have the opportunity to do the long rides you absolutely want to take them and what I want to share right now is the number one technique that I use to get long rides and that is using the destination filter so I'm going to put a graphic up here and I'm going to walk you through it map I drew up and basically there's like in my area in your area maybe is obviously going to be different but there are long rides to be had no matter where you are San Francisco, you can see I can start up in San Francisco and use my destination filter. I will set it for San Jose down here. And then I will only get rides that are going in that direction. And when I get to San Jose, I will set the destination filter back up to San Francisco. Now, sometimes I may get taken to the airport, in which case I'm going to get a long ride. So I'll turn the destination filter off and just see where I go. Oftentimes I'll go south. Sometimes I'll go up across the bridge and go over here. So that's another location. This is kind of the Oakland Berkeley area. Or oftentimes I'll get sent over here, which is over in the Fremont area. And then what I'll do from here, I'll set the destination back to San Francisco and try and get a ride back. And from here, and I'll try and get a ride back. So the destination filter is extremely valuable, extremely valuable. And with Lyft, you have six of them. And with Uber, you have two. So by using the destination filter, you can spend more of your time driving at 70 miles per hour, making $70 per hour, instead of sitting in traffic, only making 10. So thanks for watching. I hope you found this valuable and you realize that there's an important distinction to be made between short rides and long rides. And there's a time to go out and get the short rides and a time to go out and get the long rides. And use that destination filter to get more long rides during the times when there's less traffic. And if you haven't signed up for this YouTube channel, by all means, go for it. It's great. You're gonna get a lot of information if you're a driver for Uber or Lyft. Uh, absolutely, uh, check it out. Y'all go out and have a great day. Be safe out there.